is Brendan allegedly hating Mark Zuckerberg. Can somebody explain why Brendan seems to dislike Zuckerberg and Elon to some extent? Elon maybe not so much. I think because obviously Rogan sucks off Elon. Actually, you know what? It's actually really funny. If you watch the Elon Musk on Joe Rogan clip or interview, it's interesting to see Rogan like sucking off somebody because he doesn't do it often. Now that he's gotten a bit older as well, he's become a bit more grumpier. He's harder to please. But Elon's really the only person he really like bows down to, you know, and lets him do whatever the fuck he wants and really is almost um, submissive to Elon. It's really interesting to see the dynamic in real time. Like, he really looks up to Elon. Like, he really thinks Elon's super impressive. He's in awe of his intellect and shit. His business acumen. Like, Joe loves Elon Musk. Um, really interesting to see. But anyway, on the opposite side of things, Brendan hates Mark Zuckerberg. And I can't really work out why. Maybe it's to do with the fighting thing, with the Elon, the fight. But I feel like it happened before. There's something about Mark Zuckerberg that just rubs Brendan up the wrong way. And he went on a pretty long rant like destroying Mark Zuckerberg because he got injured recently doing jiu-jitsu, which makes a lot of sense, right? Because if you know anything about martial arts, especially jiu-jitsu, you get a lot of injuries on your ligaments, right? Because of people trying to fucking twist them to make you submit. And um, he obviously twisted, I think, an ACL or something in his knee, which makes a lot of sense, especially if you're not wanting to tap. You're going to get some injuries there. So it's not that surprising. If, you, if you're, if you like, doing a lot of jujitsu, um, you know, you're training, I don't know, five times a week or you're whatever, um, sparring maybe more than that, you're going to get some niggling injuries or maybe injuries that you have to go to hospital for and get some, you know, some surgery for. It's not that uncommon. So I don't know why Shulb is going in on him so much, but... Brendan hates Mark Zuckerberg, so if you have no, if you have any idea why, please let me know in the in the stream chat because I'm 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 surprised why this is a thing. Josie says he doesn't like Mark because, oh, because he shadow banned him. <laughs> yes, true. Or who knows? Probably because he don't. That's a good point. Why do I think about that? Good point, Josie. Yeah, it has to, probably has to do with the in, Instagram or something, right? Or something to do with Facebook or YouTube, something like that. Right? You're right. You're right. Yeah, I didn't think about that. That's that's, that's basically it. But anyway, let's watch the clip anyway, so you hear what he says about Mark Zuckerberg. I thought this was super funny. And I don't... Okay, so... <laughs> so Mark Zuckerberg, he had an MCL injury, right? And he posted about it. He... Oh, sorry, ACL injury, uh, sparring. And he said he was supposed to have an MMA fight early next... Wasn't it? Yeah, early next year. But it's got to be postponed. But the way this post looks is just like someone in... Like the UFC or MMA, you know what I mean? Of course, you no. Know, he his marketing team, his PR team, was like, "Dude, people think you're such a cuck. We got to do something here. Are you into anything?" He's like, "Ah, I don't know. Uh, Teslas? No, I don't like them because of Elon. They're like, all right, we have to come up with some narrative to at least win you over some dude fans, man. You like jujitsu? He's like, I guess. Like, cool. We're gonna run with this jujitsu thing. So he starts doing jujitsu. Then they start leaking the fight, and he starts, you know, hanging out with the UFC and one championship fighters. And then now. Oh, yeah, I get it now. I remember. Brendan started to hate Mark Zuckerberg when Mark did. Um, do you guys remember? Um, was it during the pandemic? There was a pandemic fight card that they did where Mark Zuckerberg was the guest and he was watching the fights from the. with the fans and shit in the arena. Do you guys remember that? And there was some controversy around that. I'm not sure what the controversy was around that fight card. But maybe it was uh, that Dana lied about Mark being there. I don't know. Some sort of controversy behind that. And Brendan went off. He was crazy about it. Like, oh, why are they sucking up to fucking Mark Zuckerberg? Blah, blah, blah. He was really, really angry about that. Do you remember? It was like a lockdown thing, isn't it? Oh, that's the one, Josie. Yeah, that's the one. That's the one. That's the one, yeah. He, yeah, he got it. By... <laughs> Mark Zuckerberg got like a private... <laughs> A private view of a of a UFC fight card. <laughs> Dana White sold him the entire UFC experience. <laughs> and Brendan did not like that one bit. He was so fucking pissed. But yeah, let's continue. Oh, here we are. He's he's in the yard and he blew his uh, back out or whatever. I, I love his leg. I, look, he's all it's just like one of those posts that any UFC fighter. Did oh no! Hospital. It's the same post Gustafin posted after he went to the greatest war of all time with John Jones for the light heavyweight title. It he struggles to speak so much in it. There's like a funny thing in what he said there, 
But the marble mouth nature of him, like he's always got a couple of Maltesers in his mouth. Not even marbles. It's like he's not even that. It's like he's got a couple of M&Ms. Have you, ever, have you tried to like speak to somebody when you've got some peanut M&Ms in your mouth? The words come out, but they're not really, you know, they're not the most, um, <laughs> you don't sound, they're not the clearest. Yeah, that's how he sounds like he's got a, like he's got a mouthful of peanut butter M&Ms that he's enjoying, but he also wants to get his point across. So it's like, it's like, brother, man, just take your time and speak. You're actually going to say a good joke here, but he fucks up with his marble mouth. It's almost, look at him. I know. <laughs> He's going to be all right, guys. God willing. I love, look at him. Hey, UFC fighters. You guys. I know, that's, I knew. All the UFC, like, John Jones, we got this, brother. Izzy, love you, dude. He's like, get better, bro. Hanner, my boy. Dang, sorry to hear, Mark. I love all the disclaimers he keeps putting on people's names so they don't go after him, right? He's so much more, like, deep down, Brendan's a hater. That's what he is. Actually, at his core, he's, an, he's a hater. Really deep down, if he strip away his core, he's really a hater. But he doesn't want to admit it, so he does these little fake disclaimers. Oh, my guy, I love you, but... And then he rips into them. So it's an interesting little disclaimers he puts in there. Let's go. Let, let's start again. Listen to this. I love... Look at Hey, UFC fighters. You guys... I know, that's... I knew. All the UFC... John Jones, we got this, brother. Izzy, love you, dude. He's like, <laughs> get better, bro. Hanner, my boy. Dang, sorry to hear, Mark. Nina, I love Nina. Sorry to hear Mark wishing you the speed of recovery. John Ant, oh, my John. man. Everyone just like, oh, get, you're a warrior, dude. Get better, bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, that's such a shame. I was looking forward to your fight, bro. <laughs> oh, this... <laughs> Look at all these guys. Uh, you know what I don't want? You know what I don't want? I don't want your shitty freaking metaverse glasses, so I'm not going to suck you off here, Mark. That's a pretty bad indictment on Brendan, though, right? He's trying to be funny here, but he's legitimately saying the loud, the quiet bit out loud. He's saying the only reason why he's going in on on Mark is because he doesn't care about what anything he's selling. He doesn't want any, you know, metaverse glasses or whatever he mentioned here. So essentially, he's saying that he's only nice to people because he knows he can get something out of them. If he can't get anything out of you, then he's going to be a dick to you. If you can't do anything for him, you're going to get this treatment. Interesting, isn't it? But all it's going to take is one interview of Mark on Joe Rogan for him to suddenly say he's a great guy. Mark's a great guy. I've got no problem with Mark. <laughs> oh, this guy, man. I also love how Asian as shit he gets when he's actually laughing and having a good time. You know, he, he commented on that other guy being Asian as shit. But I like how Asian as shit Brendan looks when he's having a good time and having a laugh, right? No? <laughs> you can hardly see his eyes. <laughs> oh, this... <laughs> Look at all these guys. Uh, you know what I don't want? You know what I don't want? I don't want your shitty freaking metaverse glasses, so I'm not going to suck you off here, Mark. <laughs> Oh, did you did you break a nail training, dude? And now you're in the ER taking pictures like you're Gusvin that you went five rounds with the greatest fighter of all time. He's all. I also wonder if this is an insecurity, because Mark is training now in jujitsu in MMA regularly, right? Again, it's rich guy training with, you know, with martial artists. They're gonna make him feel like he's a fucking king. I get it, right? Mark Zuckerberg is just a tech guy. I get it. But he's obviously taking it seriously. He's finding a passion for it. And I think people of like Zuck's kind of level, those type of guys, those high performance type people, right? those type A people, um, there's not a lot of things that kind of get them excited. So when they find something that is actually gets them excited and is a distraction from their regular, you know, nine to five grind of being a CEO, leader, founder, all this sort of pressure of a big tech company like fucking Facebook and everything else they do in Meta and shit. It's a welcome distraction. It's something he's probably going to be super happy about doing because it, you know, takes him away from the screen. It just, you know, distracts him for a couple of hours each day or whatever. He gets to meet people too. Maybe he develops that side of himself in terms of interacting with other men and shit, shooting a shit, all that stuff's important. So he's obviously you know, gravitating towards it. But Brendan is kind of somebody, I always thought that Brendan's kind of like, he reminds me a lot of DSP. He kind of hates fighting, isn't it? I get the feeling like he doesn't really enjoy mixed martial arts. He's got a lot of 
I think, understandable grievances towards mixed martial arts because it kind of gave him everything that he wanted and also gave him, took a lot away from him. It took a lot from him. You had to go through a lot, right? The beef with Dana, the UFC, the sponsorships, blah, 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 all that stuff, right? We understand. The knockouts that he got, the fact that he never got the belt or never close to getting it, blah, dee, blah, dee, blah, dee, blah. But I think he has a lot of resentment towards mixed martial arts and the UFC in general. He doesn't really enjoy it, but it's easy money for him, right? Why not do it? So maybe when you see somebody else enjoying it and going balls deep on it and also getting all the love and the attention from the UFC, it just makes him jealous because he kind of sounds jealous here. It's a lot of like, oh, you're injured training. It's like, when's the last time he's been injured training? When's the last time he's come into the studio with a shiner? you know, with a kind of, with a sprained, you know, ligament or something or a tight rib tear, whatever, mate. He doesn't have that anymore. That's not his life anymore. He's clearly kind of steered away from it. You know what I mean? Even though he still managed to get a fucking black belt, even though he doesn't roll at all and doesn't train at all in jiu-jitsu, he managed to fucking bribe um, the gym that he was at before to give him a black belt for fucking social media, um, you know, clout. So maybe there's a part of him that's actually doing this rant because he's actually secretly jealous of Mark. Maybe. Oh, hopefully one day, dude. Gonna delay the fight for now. Everyone's like, oh, man, I was stoked on that, bro. Oh, dude, I was dying to see you perform, man. You've been looking great lately. Oh, man, just when you're striking, it's coming together. <laughs> it's kind of hard for you to comment on anybody striking in it. I get why he's liking it, but Brendan commentating on anybody striking is, you just can't really, in it. You just can't. Like, you just can't. <laughs> oh, dude, sucks, man. You just figured out the fucking Umo Plata. Oh, bummer, bro. We're going to have to wait for your debut. Oh, thanks for the meta glasses, bro. Like, even our boy, uh, Mikey Mushimeshi, was like, oh, damn, dude. Thanks for the new Metaverse Ray-Ban glasses. Get better soon, brother. See you next week, man. Don't be surprised if you hear this in a comedy special coming to you very soon. You're going to see a bit. You're going to see something, whether it's crowd work or something, post on social media with this included in it. Maybe you'll save it for a special, but do not be surprised. Mark this day down. He will probably put something about this in his comedy special. Mark Zuckerberg getting injured. Zucks. Oh, do you remember that fight? You know, Zucks going to have blah, blah, blah. They look like two dinner ladies. They built like two dinner ladies. They built like two dinner ladies. They built like two dinner ladies. Who wants to watch that? Remember when he got injured, he's up in the bed holding his fist in the air like he was just involved in a five-round fight with John Jones. Who do you think he is? Gofterson? Mm-hmm. Like, don't be surprised. This is going to end up in a comedy special. Just you wait. Man. Yeah, I want nothing from this freaking robot. Your fighting sucks, your jiu-jitsu sucks, your platform sucks, you suck. How about that? Damn, dude. Your Instagram just got deleted. I know. Oh, no, dude, I forgot about that. They control my life. I thought you said he's a great guy. Great guy, I don't hate on nobody. I want everyone to win. That was a pretty hateful rant there, isn't it? I think, okay. Oh, dude, such a... Oh, man, are you kidding me? Just when 2023 couldn't get any worse. Now we're going to see Zuckerberg fight. Get better, bro. He hates... You know what I've realized also? Because he's mocking the fucking love that Zux is getting under his post. You know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of how much he hates when Theo's name gets mentioned during the live... When the UFC broadcast. Remember when the UFC are on live and they have flashes of, like, celebrities tweeting about the fight cards? And Theo's always one of the people they kind of go to. And Brendan always hates it. He always brings it up like, oh, he's Theo sucking up to the UFC. Brendan hates it because he's never featured. I don't know if his name is Blacklisted or something, but he tweets about the fights too. But his name never gets... He, they never put his tweets up on the screen. Like former UFC fighter. No, he never gets put up there. Obviously, Dana made sure to like kill that. But I think he's annoyed because he never gets that same amount of love. Like, you know, you don't see a bunch of UFC fighters underneath his pictures posting shit, you know? Like, they don't really care about him like that anymore. That's the only thing that's that's sad. Oh, really, Lucia Gomez, I didn't know that. Oh, that's a good for Lucia, Lucia Gomez. That's a good look for him. But yeah, Brendan doesn't get it. Exactly, Lucia Gomez is, has less credibility in the UFC than Brendan, clearly. Brendan definitely should be the one featured on there, and he doesn't get featured at all. But obviously, that has to do with fucking Dana White. But this is why a lot of this weird rant is coming from 
because Zuck has also been embraced by the UFC fighters and shit for, you know, for legit reasons, makes sense. If you're going to suck up to somebody, it should be fucking Zuck. You know what I mean? You shouldn't be sucking up to fucking Joe Rogan too much. Do you know what I mean? Like, let's relax on a Rogan suck up. But maybe if you're going to be getting on your knees as a man and sucking somebody up, it probably should be Zucks. It was... It's oh! <laughs> Oh man. oh man! First they Brendan robbed France, and second they're taking room, Zuckerberg's fight away from us. Ugh! 2024 can't come soon enough. He's killing in that room, bro. That studio, he's fucking killing. What a! But what exactly happened to him? His entire left leg's in a freaking cast. His hands broke. Is this ACL? Like what the? Tore my ACL sparring. Just got a surgery to replace it. Ugh, part of the game. So many fight miles. This stuff happens. Am I right, Jones? Grateful for the doctor's team taking care of me. I was training for my very competitive MMA fight early next year, but now that's delayed. Ugh, the worst. Still looking forward to doing it after I recover. Good luck to my opponent. Thanks, everyone, for the love and support. Fight on. You added a couple words there, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Um, oh no! <laughs> so oh, I just got my new ten ounce winning gloves. Oh, <laughs> that's why I have two legs. I'll work on my right kicks. Oh, he said a little skip there. I wonder what dicey, dicey, dicey thing he said about fucking Zuck. There was a little skip there. Did you see the little skip? There was a little skip there. I wonder what he said dicey about Zucks that they cut out. He, they cut something out here. Let's play it one more time. You'll see a little skip in the in, in the video. Oh, I just got my new 10-ounce winning gloves. Oh. <laughs> That's why I have two legs. Right now. I'll work on my right kick. That Oy, is- there's a little cut there. I wonder what dicey, dicey thing he said about fucking Zucks. Did he mention he's Asian as shit wife? <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> I wonder what he said about Zucks that got cut. I'll work on my right kick. Oh, ho, ho, ho. <clears throat> what did you say, Brendan? Don't be a pussy. Leave it in there, brother. Leave it in there. All right. But yeah, Brendan hates Mark Zuckerberg for some odd reason. Very strange, very odd. But hey, Brepper is a very strange and odd type of dude. 